Chapter 6, The Challenge of Climate Change As the Pleistocene continued its inexorable march, the Earth faced a new challenge, climate change. Ice ages and interglacial periods followed one another, with temperatures fluctuating unpredictably. Homo erectus adapted to these changes, learning to live in warmer climates and, in turn, facing the return of the ice ages. The glaciers advanced and retreated, shaping the landscape with their influence. Great glacial lakes disappeared as the ice receded, leaving behind vast plains and fertile valleys. Landscape transformations during the Pleistocene provided Homo erectus the opportunity to establish temporary settlements in areas previously dominated by ice. As the glaciers retreated, they left newly exposed and more accessible land in their wake. These tracts of land newly freed from glacial oppression offered Homo erectus new opportunities for resource gathering, marking a crucial change in their settlement patterns. In these recently thawed lands, Homo erectus found a diversity of natural resources. Glacial lakes, fed by melting ice, became rich reservoirs for fish and other aquatic life. The grasslands, once covered by ice, were transformed into vast fields of grass, attracting herds of herbivores that provided a reliable source of food. Forests, once limited in expansion, were spreading, offering a wider range of plants and animals for gathering and hunting. The establishment of temporary settlements in these areas not only represented a change in the adaptation of Homo erectus to geographical changes, but also an evolution in their subsistence strategies. The tribes learned to follow the migration patterns of herds of herbivores and to recognize the seasonal cycles of edible plants. This adaptation allowed them to make the most of the available resources, promoting greater efficiency in gathering and hunting. As Homo erectus explored and established temporary settlements in these new lands, they developed a deeper understanding of the local ecology and how to sustainably interact with it. These settlements not only represented camps for obtaining food, but also knowledge nodes where tribes exchanged information about the changing conditions of the environment and the best strategies to take advantage of their resources. In coastal areas, sea level fluctuated with climate changes. Homo erectus had to adapt to the rising and falling tides, moving their camps to higher ground when water threatened to flood their temporary homes. Despite these challenges, the coasts remained a rich source of food and marine resources. Climate changes influenced the distribution of plants and animals, requiring Homo erectus to adjust their hunting and gathering patterns. They became experts in identifying edible plant species and in hunting animals adapted to different climates and environments. Their adaptability and knowledge continued to be essential for survival. With each climate change, Homo erectus demonstrated astonishing adaptability. Their temporary settlements spread across the lowlands and hills, following the patterns of available resources. In interglacial periods, when the climate became warmer, they ventured into previously inaccessible regions, where new species of plants and animals provided hunting and gathering opportunities. Despite the challenges presented by climate changes, Homo erectus continued to develop their dominance over nature. The progress in the tools of Homo erectus marked a milestone in their evolution. They were not just limited to simple sharp stones, now, these tools were becoming increasingly complex and specialized. The ability to skin animals and work wood skillfully became a distinctive skill of different groups. In the lowlands, where resources were abundant and game varied, some tribes specialized in making tools designed specifically for hunting, such as sharpened spearheads and expertly carved knives. In contrast, in forested regions, woodworking skills became a crucial skill. Homo erectus made axes and chisels that allowed them not only to cut wood to build more solid shelters, but also to create more specialized tools, such as bows and arrows. These tribes became masters in forestry engineering, making the most of the resources available in their specific environment. Specialization was not limited only to the field of hunting and daily survival, it also extended to the construction and modification of the environment. Tribes in mountainous regions developed exceptional skills in building shelters that withstood harsher weather conditions, using topography to their advantage. In coastal areas, where fishing and shellfish gathering were common practices, tools for building rafts and boats became essential, marking the mastery of these tribes in marine engineering. These specializations not only influenced the development of the tribes, but also generated significant interactions between different groups of Homo erectus. Cultural exchanges and the trade of tools became a reality, each tribe contributing its specialized knowledge to the collective. These interactions influenced not only technological development, but also the shared understanding of the environment and the most effective ways to take advantage of it. 
In this context of specialization and collaboration, new forms of construction were generated that transcended the individual needs of the tribes. Homo erectus built not only sturdier shelters, but also more elaborate community structures, such as gathering areas and ceremonial sites. The construction of these structures not only served practical purposes but also symbolized a deeper connection between the tribes, marking a crucial step in their social and cultural development. Time was a constant source of observation and reflection. Homo erectus continued to study the sky, the seasons and natural cycles. Weather forecasting became a crucial skill, as it allowed them to anticipate the migrations of herds of herbivores and plan their movements accordingly. Each seasonal change brought with it new opportunities and challenges, and the ability to adapt was key to survival. The history of Homo erectus in the Pleistocene was a saga of resistance and constant evolution. In the midst of a constantly changing world, they had learned to harness knowledge and adaptability as fundamental weapons in their fight for survival. The challenge of climate change had only strengthened their determination to thrive on an ever-changing planet. Forest fires became a constant threat, as dry seasons alternated with wet ones. Homo erectus had learned to take advantage of fire as a survival tool, but they also had to protect themselves from its destructive power. They built fireproof shelters and watched the horizon for signs of smoke that would announce an imminent fire. The Pleistocene had become a time of constant challenges, where climatic and geological changes influenced the life of Homo erectus. Their ability to adapt to the Earth's fluctuations and learn from their experiences allowed them to thrive in the midst of uncertainty. The resilience and intelligence of this ancient species continued to be a testament to life's ability to meet the challenges of a constantly evolving Earth.